My name is Jose Paniagua, and today I'm going to teach you how to properly clean and, lub and lubricate an AR-15. The safety precautions for today is um, you always treat the weapon as it is loaded, and you never point the weapon at anything you're not in intending to shoot. The, uh, the materials and the tools that we're going to use today is going to be Q-tips, wet wipes, and I actually have a, a cleaning kit for an AR-15. Okay, now first we're going to clear the weapon. You point the weapon in a safe direction, you drop the magazine, you charge the bolt to the rear, you inspect the chamber, make sure that there's nothing in there, then you ride the bolt forward and you place the weapon on safe. Okay, now the weapon is already cleared, we know that there's nothing in there, now we're going to start to disassemble the weapon. We're going to take apart the, the lower assembly and the upper assembly by these two pins right here, pushing on one side, and they're going to start to poke at on the other side. We're going to pull those out, and it comes apart just like so. Then we're going to take out the buffer spring, and the buffer, you can just pull that, push that little pin down right there, and then it'll all come out. That's these two pieces right here. Okay, now on the upper assembly, we're going to take out the, the charging handle along with the bolt carrying assembly. Okay, that's as far as we get with, with this right here. Now, and that's as far as we get with the charging handle. Now with the bolt carrying assembly, we're going to pull out the retaining pin, which is right there, which you can just get with your finger now. And then and the firing pin is just going to pop out. That is the firing pin. Okay, now we're going to get the cam pin. We're going to turn it 90 degrees to one side or the other. It doesn't matter. It's going to fall right out. That is the cam pin. And the bolt comes right out, just like so. Now we're going to take the bolt apart one step further by pushing down on the extractor right there. And you're going to take your firing pin and push that, that retaining pin out. So you can see it on the other side and grab it, pull that out and the retaining pin comes right out, just, just like so. Okay, now our weapon is all the way assembled as far as we're gonna go, and we're gonna use some wet, wet wipes to clean. Now you're just, now you're, you're gonna wanna clean basically the entire weapon, and you're gonna see how, how dirty your weapon is by how much you, you fire and, and how much black actually comes out of it. And you're going to go through your entire weapon, but you're going to be focusing on the areas that gas is going to touch it, which is going to be this area right, right here and everything that is around it, which is going to be the uh, bolt and this right here. So you're going to make sure that all the areas are all the way clean. <clears throat> now you can use wet wipes or you can also use a dry rag or an old shirt. It's not really going to matter as long as you take take off all of the grease that's it's, that's going to be in there. Now I I previously cleaned this weapon so it it isn't going to really produce too much carbon. Now, whenever you're done cleaning it, you're going to lubricate the parts that are going to be rubbing up against the weapon. So now, for example, you're just going to think of how the weapon works. Whenever this this is in here, it's going to be coming back and forth. And that and that little rail. So you're going to be trying to lubricate this and all and all the points that are going to be touching in and around the weapon, as well as the firing pin. Now we're going to go back into reassembly <coughs> by going um, by by just taking taking the steps back that that we took that we used to take it apart. We're gonna we're gonna put back the the extractor. Okay. We're going to put the, the, the bolt back into the carrying assembly. We're going to put the cam pin back, back in. Make sure, that, make sure that the holes line up in there or else you're never going to get it in there. And then since we turned it 90 degrees, we're going to do the same thing once we put it back in. And then once you get it 90 degrees, this is going to, the firing pin is going to fall right, right in there. The retaining pin is going to go in to retain that firing pin. OK, 
Okay, and your bolt carrying assembly is already done. Now to put it back into the upper assembly, put the charging handle in there, just, just like so. There's a little slot which it's going to go into and then you're allowed to slide it back and forth. This, it looks like it's going in upside down. And you put it back in there. Okay. Our upper assembly is already done. And you're going to put the buffer and the buffer spring back in there as well into the lower assembly. Into there. You can just push it in and the retaining pin is going to keep it inside. And I make sure that these two pins are still out. And put it back like so and, put, and push those pins in. And your weapon is fully assembled already. Now we're going to go through a, fun a uh, functions check. And we're going to point the weapon in a safe area. Okay. We're going to pull the charging handle once. We're going to place the weapon on safe. We're going to attempt to fire. It's, it's not supposed to fire because it's on safe. So we're good. Now we're going to place it on fire. We're going to attempt to fire. It's supposed to fire because it's on fire. It does. Now with with the with your finger still on it, you're going to pull it. And you're going to hear the hammer drop once you let go. And we're good. Your weapon is fully functional. And the weapon's back on safe. And that's how you clean your AR-15.